Hello and welcome to my Chat Genie review where I'm going to be going over this specific feature and kind of give you an idea of how it works. Of course, my thoughts and opinion and everything else that's related to a review. First, I want to let you know that this is going to be a feature that comes along with Write Cream. So Write Cream is going to be the AI software. This is one of the features. And also, last thing before we do begin, do want to let you know that Write Cream is currently still on AppSumo with a very good lifetime deal. I will leave a link down below in case you want to check that out. So now that we got all the major details out of the way, if you scroll down a little bit, you know, once you're on the inside here, you're going to see should be in the middle, Chat Genie, Live AI Assistant for any writing task. So I have plenty of tabs here. So let's do a couple of quick examples, show you how it works, and I'll give you my thoughts. First and foremost, let's start with something that's related to creating an article. If we want to write an article, we're going to need an outline first. So, so let me write a prompt first, and then we'll go from there. All right, so write me an outline for an article called The Two Best Tips for Brand New Golfers. Just an example, I like talking about golf. Let's click on send. I'm just going to chop the video up so you don't have to wait, and then we'll talk about it. All right, scrolling up a little bit. So exactly what we're looking for. We just have our two tips. We have our intro and our conclusion. So what I normally do when using AI, I like going through and doing prompts for each of these. So let me write a prompt for the intro and then we can see what we get. All right, so write a few paragraphs for an introduction of this article. Make sure that you include the definition of golf and overview of the game. So I want to see if it has a good memory based upon what we've talked about previously. So I didn't put the title in there, but I do want to let it know that we want a few paragraphs. It's going to be an introduction and that we include the definition of golf and the overview of the game. Let's roll. So right off the bat, we are still talking about golf is good, but we said a few paragraphs. We got one, which I guess is fine. We can always write more, but let's read it. Golf is a sport that is played with a cup, club and a ball. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. The object of the game is to hit the ball into the hole as close to the center of the hole as possible. The game is played on a course with a number of holes. The course is typically 18 holes, but can be as short as nine holes. The game can be played as an individual sport or as a part of a team sport. Golf is one of the oldest sports in the world, has been played for centuries. It is a very popular sport and is often played in hot weather. Not going to lie, that wasn't a great... Uh, paragraph right there you know it might be on the user so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and i'm going to copy the title so that might be the lack of memory or that might be a lack of input you know like i always talk about if you're not getting great output many times it can be because of the user so let me write a different prompt and see what we get all right so it's more specific this time i need an introduction for an article called the two best tips for brand new golfers make sure that you write two total paragraphs so it's very specific with that so i want two paragraphs better give me two paragraphs all right let's click on send all right so instead of two we get three but then again this one isn't all that long so let's read this and see what we got golf is a beloved pastime enjoyed by millions of people around the world it's a great way to get outside and have fun while so on and so forth uh, for those who are just starting out it can seem overwhelming but the right guidance you can learn the basics and become a pro in no time mm, that's quite the claim the article will discuss the two best tips for brand new golfers so you can hit the links with confidence and start having fun these tips are designed to help you so on and so forth uh, they talk about focusing on your form uh, proper posture second to practice regularly and by following these two tips you can be well in your game okay so that was better overall so i think that was more of you know not having a great input and not getting a great output so i think you need to actually be very specific when it comes to this like this is what it's going to be about and i would probably even go a little bit farther and say like you know the two tips are going to be uh getting to know your clubs and learning the fundamentals that way we wouldn't have something a little bit different so what i want to do is this let's do a paragraph so give me a second i'm going to write a prompt for this all right so this one we have a lot going on write me a few paragraphs about learning the fundamentals of golf in this content make sure that you talk about the rules of golf basic golf etiquette and when to use specific golf clubs so let's click on send and see what we get all right so learning the fundamentals can be exciting and rewarding in addition to understanding the rules in golf proper golf etiquette it's important to understand the various types of clubs when they are used they can be very complex generally the ball must be hit with a designated area and so on and so forth when it comes to the clubs the most common are the driver the irons and the putter drivers used to obviously when you use it it's kind of skimming through each club is designed for a specific purpose should be used accordingly uh, leaving the fundamentals of golf can take time and practice, but it'll be worth it in the end. As a golfer, it's important to understand and follow the rules of golf. Okay, so overall, I'd say it could be a little bit better there. You know, it talks about the rules. Once again, was this on me? You know, talk about the rules of golf. I think it would be better if we just did, you know, give me a few paragraphs when it comes to basic golf etiquette. So let's do that. All right, so write me a few paragraphs about basic golf etiquette. A few short paragraphs. 
uh, and fun and enjoyable part of the game uh, to show respect to your fellow players. One of the first rules of it is to maintain a consistent pace of play. That is good. Be prepared to hit your shot when you got to go. Another one is repairing uh, the ball marks on the green. Finally, it's important to keep your golf cart off the green and out of the bunker. Yeah, I certainly hope so. I can imagine someone doing donuts on the green. Uh, overall, like, you know, pretty short, straight to the point, but I think this is a little bit better. So this is why I like doing software, like reviews and demos, because I can show you, you know, if something's not going right, how you can possibly fix it. So a lot of this has actually been on me, you know, being a little bit more specific, you know, maybe asking too much, but that's just an introduction or just one of the examples that you can obviously use Chat Genie for. We got our outline, our intro, our paragraph. We can continue on with the other aspects, but let's go to a different use case, okay? All right, let's move over to email. Give me a bunch of email subject lines regarding the best golf tips and send. All right, so we get 10, mastering the basics, five essential golf tips, get ready for the green. I'm just going to kind of paraphrase, swing like a pro from T to green, power up your game, sharpen your short game, hone your focus. I like that. Sharpen your short game has a nice little ring to it. Hone your focus, improve your posture, dial in your aim and get in the zone. So these are actually pretty good. I like these. Now that we have one of these, let's actually write a full email. So let's find that one I liked. Sharpen your short game. Great. Let me write a prompt for writing an entire email. All right, so here we go. Write an email for me that has a subject line of sharpen your short game techniques for lower scores. At the end of the email, add a call to action where my subscribers can click a link and get taken to an article with more information. Perfect. Let's click on send. All right, here we go. Let's move up straight into the point. Are you looking for ways to lower your scores? If so, you'll be glad to hear about the latest techniques for improving your short game. In golf, having a good short game is essential for consistently lowering your score. With the right technique, you can make fewer putts, chip more accurately, and make smarter decisions on the green. To learn more about the techniques you can use to sharpen your short game, click here. There's our call to action. This article will show you how to make your game more consistent and ultimately lower your scores. Start improving your short game today and watch your scores drop. Sincerely, name. All right, so despite the fact that was very short, I really really like that one. If you're sending off an email that pretty much goes to an article, this is the type of email I would write. You know, it talks about in the email subject line, like someone wants to get better at their short game and they click on this, they're interested, you know, and it talks about the things that they want and it leads to a call to action where they can learn more. So it's pretty much saying like, Hey, are you interested in buying pizza? And all these people raise their hand that want pizza. You know, it's going to be exactly for them. It's going to be what they want. You might not get the most opens in the world, but the people that do open it are going to be very interested in what you have to offer, if that makes sense. So that was a good one. Let's do yet another one. How about generate a paragraph on Facebook ads? Oh, let's do this. Generate a Facebook ad paragraph for improving your golf short game. Why not? Let's continue on with golf. Improve your golf short game with our cutting edge golf coaching program. Our program offers personalized instruction and cutting edge technique to help you achieve lower scores and better performance. With our help, you can refine your short game, master your putting and perfect your swing. Get the results you want on the course today. Okay. So, I mean, short, straight to the point. Let's just say we wanted to do another one. Let's see if Chat Genie is capable of writing more. Right, so write me another Facebook ad paragraph about the same topic. Why not? Our product is the perfect solution for busy professionals who need to stay organized and on top of their day-to-day -day tasks. Our intuitive design and streamlined features make it easy to keep track of your work and maximize your productivity. Ouch, I'm just going to stop there. So the memory is not great. That is something definitely when it comes to the pros and cons right away, as we've seen before, you need to be very specific. So I put, write me another Facebook ad paragraph about the same topic. We were clearly talking about golf. Now it's talking about busy professionals who want to, you know, stay organized and on top of their day. So noted, that's something that definitely can be improved. We got two tabs here. I'm just going to do one more example and let's see what we come up with here. All right, so write me a Facebook post about why putting, the putting, why putting is the most important aspect of your golf game. Putting is an integral part of every golfer's game and is the most important uh, skill to master. Being able to read the green and hit the ball accurately is key to consistently low scores. A good putt can save you from a bogey or worse and can make the difference between a good round and a great one. And we have some hashtags. Cool. So there's actually one more thing that I want to do. Give me a second. I'm going to open up a new tab. Something that is different from Chat Genie, say compared to like Chat GBT, is the latest news. So give me, I'm going to put a prompt in and let's see what we get. So who played in the most recent Super Bowl in 2023? Also, who won and what was the final score? So can it handle the latest news and stuff like that? Let's click on send and see what we get. Well then, the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks played in the 2023 Super Bowl. I don't know about you, but uh, the Broncos, they didn't win. Okay, let me rephrase that. Maybe I didn't get that right. Okay, so there we go. Maybe it was a, a 
a blip, but I mean, either way, it got it right. The Chiefs won the Super Bowl in 2023. However, you know, it seems there have been some offs when it comes to this. So let's talk about the pros and cons overall. There's a few of them. First and foremost, what's great about this, like I talked about, this is just a simple feature in an AI writing tool where there's already tons of tools. Like I said, they currently do have their lifetime deal. And for this, I'd say this is a solid price where you pay once and you get, you know, a lot with it. So overall, that's a very good thing. Moving on to Chat Genie, you know, we did a lot of different examples when it comes to this. So you can use it when it comes to creating an introduction, when, when it comes to creating an outline, writing paragraphs. Uh, some of the paragraphs are all right, and some of them weren't bad. Like I talked about previously, the more specific you are, I think you're going to get much uh, better content. Like this right here, like we'll just do pros and cons. This was just horrible. Like this was bland. There was nothing special about it. It's like golf is played with a club and ball. It's like, who is our audience here? Are we talking to toddlers? Who doesn't know that? You know what I mean? That was a very bad one. But, you know, I think it was for the lack of specifics there. Once you kind of iron out what you need to talk about and go from there, then I think you're going to get better content. What's also good about it is the fact that it is very flexible. We talked about a few things like this was great when it comes to email subject lines. It gave me the perfect email that I was looking for. For example, if I just created this golf article and I wanted to get people interested in sharpening their short game, we have our subject line and we have a straight to the point email where it's like, hey, if you're interested in this, I have an article for you. I think you're going to really like it. So I like that aspect right there. Uh, and then moving on to the pros and cons. So if we're specific with what we're talking about, we're going to get some decent content. But on the other hand, the memory does not seem to be good. We talked about that in the first example with golf. And then I put, write me another Facebook ad paragraph about the same topic. We went from golf and then we went to busy professionals. So I think that needs to be ironed out in a little bit better. Uh, what else did we go? Let's see why it's the most uh, important aspect. So that was right on, right? That was a Facebook ad post. And of course, with the most recent news, we had a blunder there. And then I asked again, maybe my question wasn't all that great, but you know, it got it wrong and then it got it right. So overall, some pros and cons definitely here. Uh, despite the fact, I still think Write Cream is at least worth using, especially for the fact that it's not just Chat Genie. You're getting a lot of things with that. So, so overall, there are definitely some pros and cons for you to think about. The memory could be a little bit better. Uh, you need to be a little bit more specific. Otherwise, you're going to get some bland content, but you know, it's still a decent deal when you have the lifetime offer over overall. So I hope you got some value out of this chat genie review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Once again, I will leave the link down below where you can get that special lifetime deal. Keep in mind though, that won't be around forever. Eventually when things go on AppSumo, they eventually take them down. So I don't know when that is getting taken down, but just something to consider. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and the Denver Broncos did definitely not win in the 2023 Super Bowl.